And we now know the name of a boy who drowned in Settlement Canyon Reservoir overnight. Authorities say his name is Jaden Davis. He was 14 and a student at Tuella High School. Just hours ago, police shared this body camera footage from last night of officers trying to find Jaden's body under the icy water. They say Jaden was out on the ice with two other boys and he and another boy fell through. That other boy was able to get out and with a friend, they flagged someone down and called 911. Jaden's grandfather actually spoke thanking the rescue crews for their efforts in trying to save his grandson. Divers were in the water almost constantly. They were rotating out. We kept expecting them to say, we're gonna call the search off for tonight because of the weather and darkness. They wouldn't leave. Jaden's death is under investigation. Mm. Well, his death again of Jaden Davis has been a difficult blow for the tight knit community. ABC 4's Kayla Baggerly has been out speaking with locals processing the loss. It was a devastating overnight search here at Settlement Canyon Reservoir. Just after midnight, authorities say they were able to find and recover the body of that 14 year old boy. Many here tell me that the community is very tight knit and this has left them heartbroken. It's devastating on the whole community when when we use, lose a young life like this. Today, the Tooele community is shaken up, learning about the loss of a young 14 year old boy who fell through the ice in the Settlement Canyon Reservoir last night. It's heartbreaking. Tooele County School District released a statement saying the boy was a student at Tooele High School and their hearts go out to family and friends during this difficult time. There's going to be a lot of kids that's going to be heartbroken from this in school today. Uh, kids that just talked to him in school yesterday It'll be the last time they talked to him. Police say it was around 7 p.m. that three teenage boys, a 14, 16 and 18 year old were out on the ice when the 14 year old and 18 year old fell through. The older boy was able to get out while the younger one remained trapped. The 18 year old and the 16 year old ran up the hill, flagged down a citizen who called 911. As police were searching for the boy, one of the officers also fell through the ice. He was pulled out safely. And they were on the east end of the reservoir, which is where the inlet is. Um, and so there is a little bit of open water, and that's where the ice is the thinnest. So our officer went in. We had a couple of firefighters that fell partially through and were partially smerged. The search included multiple agencies as well as an air med and DPS helicopter. Eventually, with a remote operated vehicle, the body of the 14 year old boy was located and recovered from the ice. We've lost a community young man that had his whole life ahead of him. There will be a crisis team and counselors available for students, staff and faculty at Tooele High School. Reporting from Tooele, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Kayla. And of course, our thoughts are with that family.